Hi there. I'm going to show you how to start a partnership in New Mexico. Um, filing is really straightforward. You're going to be filing through the mail and you're going to be using a PDF application in which you can submit all your business information on your computer. So before we get started, we recommend that each filer performs a business entity search prior to filing to ensure that their business name is available for use in New Mexico. Um, with a name checked for availability, the next step if you wish, is to um, to file for name reservation. This is not required, but um, it'll be a great way to secure the rights to your business name, and this will last for a total of 120 days. So click on this link here to find out more about that. All right, so the actual filing process um, varies between entity types. Um, just to say for domestic LPs, there actually is no pre-made form available, so you will need to draft your own document with the specifications listed in these uh, statutes right here. So uh, click on this to look at that and read it, read it more carefully and draft your own. Once drafted, you will then need to send it to the address located at the bottom of step two. Um, for the remaining entity types, let's, uh, let's take foreign LLLP, for example. I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna take us to the exact location for a foreign triple LP. In step one, you're going to download the PDF document, and this is uh, relative to the remaining entity types. So this example will be relevant to uh, LLPs, um, LPs, and the remaining ones. Anyways, um, you're going to download the PDF application supplied in step one. In step two, you're going to provide the information listed, um, and it's all really straightforward stuff. And so continuing on, um, there, in step three, once all the information has been completed, you'll need to attach a check or a, um, a money order covering the filing fee. And the filing fees were listed at the very top of the page, so you can take a look at that for the exact filing fee for your entity type. You will then need to send your completed application, <coughs> excuse me, the filing fee, and if you are a foreign entity, a certificate of good standing from the initial jurisdiction of formation. All that informa information needs to be sent to the address located at the bottom of your respective tutorial. And that will conclude the filing process. Um, a couple things to mention before I sign off is that in the tip section, as you can see, we have the EIN. And the EIN is in the employer identification number. And this number is issued by the IRS to all partnerships. Well, they don't issue it initially. You need to apply for it as soon as your registration is complete with the Secretary of State. So once you're finished filing, um, log on to the either the website or download the PDF form SS4 to file for the EIN. The partnership agreement is not legally required in New Mexico, though highly recommended, as it can greatly strengthen the internal organizational structure of your business. Basically what it does is it states any provisions that were left undefined during the initial registration process. And we've provided a template agreement for this in both Microsoft Word and Adobe PDF formats, which you can download by clicking the link here. Lastly, um, renewal is only required for limited liability partnerships. The remaining entity types don't have to worry about this, but if you are an LLP, you will be required to file a renewal. And um, more information can be found in this paragraph here. Basically what you have to do is uh, update the state with your general business information and supply a filing fee. And you can file through the mail with the address located at the bottom here. So that's it for now. I hope this helped. Good luck and take care.